How first-time home buyers can use RRSPs for their home purchase. You're listening to Winnipeg's Real Estate Podcast with Bo Kaufman of Remax Performance Realty. Answering questions of buyers and sellers of houses and condos in Winnipeg. Hello, everybody. This is Bo Kaufman, Remax Performance Realty. And today we're going to have a phone call with Thomas Johnson, a financial advisor, uh, life insurance and disability insurance uh, rep for Cascade Financial. And he's going to tell us a little bit about how home buyers in Canada can use RRSP money uh, to their to their benefits when buying a house. There are certain rules attached to it, but there are some very, very clear benefits in doing so. So let's give him a call. Hello, Bo. Hey, hey, Tom, how you doing? Not too bad yourself today. Good, excellent. I um, I just want to get right into the the meat of this here. You and I were talking a little while ago, and you made me aware, uh, more aware than I had been, of the fact that RRSPs can come in really handy for first time home buyers. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. the uh, The government's got a great program called the Home Buyers Plan, and what it does is it allows first time home buyers to take up to thirty five thousand dollars out of their RRSP on a tax-free basis uh, to help them with the purchase of their first home. And then the, uh, there's some conditions around repaying it and uh, making sure the money's in right, but it's essentially a tax-free loan from your RRSP to help you get into a home sooner. Okay. Now, I know there's a, there's a whole bunch of information there. So, for example, this might sound like a silly question, but what is a first-time buyer? I understand it's more than just somebody buying a house for the very first time. Correct. So the easy one is obviously somebody who's never bought a house before, um, but it also includes people who just haven't owned a home for the past four years or more. Uh, So you might have owned a home in the past, moved out or uh, moved in with somebody else or lived in an apartment, and getting back into the the real estate market, you can qualify for the program a second time. So four clear years. Exactly. Okay. Second thing you touched on is um, that the money has to be in there for a certain amount of time. Yeah, that's, that's a big, uh, I'm going to say gotcha. Uh, there's a 90-day window where the money has to be inside the RRSP for it to qualify for your tax deduction for the year. And as long as the money has sat in there for at least 90 days, you get the tax break up front and you still get to pull it out tax-free. If you've been you know, putting money aside monthly and you still happen to go buy a house and use your RRSP, any money that's been invested in those previous 90 days uh, just probably won't qualify you for a tax break that year. Right. But uh, we'll touch on this again uh, in, in a minute from now because this brings up a very interesting uh, possibility. Uh, the third question I have is what are the repayment rules? So you usually get a two-year grace period, and that way it gives you some time to get your budget under you and get into the groove of being a homeowner. And then all you have to do is repay one-fifteenth of whatever you uh, took out of your RRSPs each and every year for 15 years. And if you don't repay it in a year, it's not like somebody comes after you. You just pay the taxes owed on that amount. Um, but the ideal scenario is repaying that money. So somebody who takes 15000 out of their RRSPs has to put back $1,000 a year for 15 years to until they've repaid that. Starting, starting with year three. Exactly. Okay. Um, so touching on that 90 days, you came up or you... Uh, enlightened me to a, a really good scenario here. We are right now at the end of September. If somebody wants to buy a house in the spring, what could they do? And they let's say they have $20,000 saved, which is, you know, 7 or 8% of whatever house they want to buy. How can they get more money? Um, so all depending on their, their tax bracket and their RRSP contribution room, but if they have the RRSP contribution room available to them and they qualify for uh, getting money back as a tax deduction, they could theoretically put that money into an RRSP. Uh, they would get a big tax break for 2019, and so come tax time next spring, they would get a nice big refund check from CRA, and they could apply that towards their down payment as well. So somebody in a, say a 30% tax bracket could turn that twenty thousand dollars in their checking account into twenty six thousand dollars for their uh, for their home. Uh, let's say somebody has twenty thousand dollars in in room. They could put in that money right now and get a tax deduction for twenty nineteen, and they can put in another contribution in February. Let's say for twenty twenty. Correct. And they yeah, can. So- as they, long as they've uh, accrued new contribution room, right. then they'd be able to maximize out that room in 2020 as well. 
and get told off on making the uh, the deduction claim until the following year's tax return. That's right, and so they can still take that money out nine to get your tax break back. But as long as it sat there for ninety days, you'd still qualify for the deduction. Right. Awesome. Okay. Well, um, that's you've made me a lot smarter today. So that's uh, <laughs> that's really nice. Now, if people want to discuss this further with you, how do they get a hold of you, Tom? Uh, you know, you can reach me in a number of ways. My email address is uh, Thomas C H O M A S dot Johnson J O H N S O N at f five five f dot com. Uh, you can reach me by phone at two zero four eight three seven one nine six zero. You can find me on Instagram Tom dot at dot Cascade, uh, or you can check out our website www dot Group dot com. Okay, and that email address was f fifty five f like in Freedom fifty five Financial. You got it. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, Tom, and I'll, uh, I'll be seeing you soon. Sounds good. Thank you both. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Are you looking to buy a house or a condo in Winnipeg? Work with the agent who takes the time to explain the process to you, guiding you through every step. For service beyond the sale, book your home buying consultation with Bo Kaufman of REMAX Performance today. Bo knows real estate. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of Winnipeg's Real Estate Podcast. All episodes are available on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. When you're ready to buy or sell a house or a condo in Winnipeg, call Bo Kaufman of REMAX Performance Realty at 204-333-2202 or email bonoshomes at gmail.com. Bo Knows Real Estate.